Good day everybody, just so you know, Casey has no idea what I'm going to be talking about when I go over there by her right now. Play along. Hey hon. So are you ready for today? What's today? Today's the big day. You know, we've been talking about like the big day. No. Okay, I'm just messing with you. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna plant up the uh, willow trees, the willow whips, and it's really not a big deal. But I just wanted to Privacy have a little fun. <laughs> so I would say it's a bit unconventional to plant trees in the middle of July. It is definitely. But with these willow whips, with these hybrid willows, as long as you keep them soaked they'll be good. So I don't know if we planted any before in the middle of July, but we're gonna do it now and I'm pretty confident that they're gonna take off and they'll be good to go. So now we're gonna kind of pick the spots where we wanna put them, but they've been sitting. I'll show you, we got a couple five gallon buckets full of water where we've had them sitting. We took these cuttings back in the spring and they've lasted very well in there, but now I can kind of tell the leaves are starting to get a little funny on some of them and they need to get into the ground and we can start establishing some more privacy sooner rather than later, so let's get to it. All right, so here's one of the buckets. Look at that. Look at all those beautiful roots. So they should do pretty good once they're once they're planted. We, we planted some other ones in the spring that had just literally three or four little string roots coming off the bottom of it. Nothing, nothing like this. And they've actually been doing well. So just as a little, re little reminder, earlier in the spring we had a video where we, where we showed the cuttings that we took here. So these are the, uh, the willows that we cut from. These things are, are like 20 feet tall now. We planted these two years ago. They grow four to eight feet a year. I mean, how fun is that to watch grow? And what we did earlier this year all you have to do and you can come down towards the bottom it's not going to ruin anything i mean look at look at right here this is where i cut a branch right there look at one two three four five six seven eight nine new little whips coming you can simply trim this off stick it in water it will root and this little guy right here will be 20 feet tall in three years or less <laughs> no lie. So after you do trim that branch off and you put it in a bucket of water, after a few weeks, you're gonna get this. Look at those, look at those roots. So I'm confident that when I plant this into the ground, as long as I keep these roots wet, it's gonna do really good. I got called over to check something out. It's pineapple salvia. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's really good. Mm. <laughs> I love pineapple salvia because um, it's just like this big, bright green chartreuse plant, if you want to show it quick. Yes. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And it doesn't really blossom until like fall. So it won't be until like late August, early September but they get these beautiful, really bright red plume flowers, just like, you know, like any other salvia, but they are just so gorgeous when you accent them against those chartreuse leaves. It just, yeah, it's a really cool combination. And I'm not always a huge red fan, but I always still like adding it in because the hummingbirds love it. Yes, so. we love those hummingbirds. Yeah. So we're pretty good on privacy from, you know, where the house ends there coming all the way around the garden to about where the bunny area is. But then after that, you can see it's kind of open there. So when we're down here, we can still see the road. So I think we're gonna look over here to see where we wanna do some planting. So we're gonna go out and around and get a closer look. So we're gonna, we don't see this, this view of the garden all that much. This is our south side of the greenhouse. Got wildflowers over here, little path over here. We've got a little uh, crossing here that brings us through the waterway. Usually this waterway is dry, as you can see right now. 
This view here is cool, so they can see. So we, we love the waterway. It's pretty wild, but you get a lot of birds and... Yep, so I want trees. Sorry, don't mean to cut Yeah, no, off. go ahead. I know you're really enjoying, but right here, I want trees right there. Okay. And then like right in between these two trees here for now. Got it. Put some there and then let's go on to the north side to block more neighbors. Okay. And don't don't get me wrong, I, I like our neighbors, but you know, it's nice to feel like you're in like this paradise and no one else is around. Right. All right, now I'm on the other side of the waterway. Casey's going to go on our garden side and then we can determine where to truly put the trees. All right, so what we're going to do then is we're basically going to place the willows kind of coming right around through here. That way, anywhere in the back that we are, the road's kind of behind me. It's going to block the road if we can get a nice line from here to here and then even a few on the other side of this first pine here. I just want to cut in real quick and show this Mongavi. Look at how tall this is. Here, let me put it on the ground. So it looks like it's going to bloom up top there. This thing, it just keeps, it keeps going and going. All right, so look how much taller that is. <laughs> and I'm 5'8", which means I'm 5'7". Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's wow, that's crazy. It's really cool though. It's kind of fun to watch things anomalies like this happen in the in the garden. All right, so this is what I'm going to use to to plant most everything. I know they make augers that are specifically more for you know plants and perennials. They've got wider widths here, um, but for the whips, this one works fine. And then I just hook that up to my uh, to my drill, and I can use that to auger the hole. It's better than digging with a shovel. Just goes a little bit quicker. All right, we got the first one in. What we did with the ones up on the, the berm there is we did three kind of right next to each other. And then we put an arborvitae in between and did another three, but they, they fill in pretty quick. So I think I'll just kind of space them every two feet, three feet or so. So just a little tip, if you are going to use this type of auger, make sure to put your leg in front so that it can't, when you're, when you're pulling the trigger, it's going to want to go this way. And if you aren't putting your, your leg there, it's going to take and twist your, your arm and your wrist because it's going to catch on something and just rip like that. And it hurts. Trust me, I already had that happen. So um, keep your leg there so that it can't go and you know twist your uh, your wrist there so when you're going down if you got your leg there it's not able to just fly out of control so just a, a tip there a safety tip getting some of the excess loose dirt out of here but the great thing about being out here and just doing whatever it is out here is i know this may not look as as beautiful as it does to me right now on on camera but i got birds everywhere it's just, uh, it's kind of kind of like serenity. Peace and quiet, not thinking about anything. I'm, I'm enjoying myself out here right now. All right, we got our first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the ground here. Since I just transplanted them, I'm gonna get them some water right away. Their roots were in that five gallon bucket of water. So now they went into dry ground. So we want to keep them soaked and do it right off the bat here. I don't want to let them sit too long without water. So our raspberries are ripe and ready. So we are over here having a little midday feast with the raspberries. And we got the golden, the golden ones. They're good, huh girls? Yeah. Look at it. Oh, look at that cluster. Mm. <laughs> oh, that was good. I got this one. I got this good. I got some babies. Let's see. They're tiny. <laughs> tiny but sweet, right? I got new pupils. <laughs> you find a good I one over the there? One. No, those ones are still good too. What? <laughs> Look at this. Well, not if they're too mushed, I guess. Okay, well, got a total of. 30 trees planted today. 
Well, that's going to do it for my tree planting extravaganza video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something or not. If you found this enjoyable, please subscribe to our channel. We would love it and appreciate it. Click the little bell for notifications to be notified of more videos like this one. Have a great rest of the day. Take care.